Hello friends, in this video I will show you, how to start Appium server programmatically, and also will set the desired capabilities, that are needed to start Android driver. So, let's begin. In base lib class, we have already declared Android driver. Now we will declare, Appium driver local service. And then we will start this service, under start Appium server method. And stop it under stop Appium server. This service is used to start and stop Appium server. Here, I will declare a string variable, which will hold the port number, on which the Appium server will run. This is optional. The host address that will be used by service, will be same as shown here but the port number will be, any random free port. Other than these, we also need variables, to hold the address of appium.js and node.js. To find the appium.js location, you need to navigate to the folder, where appium desktop is installed. This is the file, main.js which is needed. Copy its folder path and assign it to appium.js variable. Similarly, assign the folder path for node.js.exe file. Now, we will initialize service. Here, you if you want to go for any free port, then you need to use, using any free port method. Or, if you want to use a predefined port, then you need to use, using port method. We will go with, any free port method. And will pass appium.js and node.js variables here. And to check which port will be used by this service, we will use get URL method and assign the value to service URL variable. And then just print it to show it on console. This part is done, now go ahead and call the start appium method, inside before method annotation. Along with this we also need, desired capabilities to create the session. Here, we will assign 6 capabilities, there are many capabilities which can be added as per the requirement. We'll see, what are these, when we will assign values to them. Now. There are two ways to assign the values to it, first is to hardcode the values here itself. And second way is to fetch them, from dot properties file. I recommend you to save your values in dot properties file. 
For that create a properties file under your project path. Paste all of the used capabilities key here. First capability is automation name which will be UI Automator 2. Platform name will be Android as we are automating on Android. And platform version will be your Android version. Device name can be checked from command prompt. For that, connect your Android device in debugging mode to your system, and type ADB devices. To find app package and app activity, you need to use ADB shell command. You can find the command in description of this video. Now, to fetch these key and values pair, we will create a class called get property value. Create a variable and store the path of the property file. And then create a method which takes the key as parameter, and returns its value, from the properties file. And add the following code inside it. Go ahead, and call this static method getValue, with the respective key as argument. That's it, now initialize the driver. At last, call the stop appium method inside after method annotation. After this, we will create a script inside package scripts. Extend base lib class here. And then add this test ng class in bomb.xml. Now let's quickly run it. Here, we can see that Appium server has started on following port. Thanks for watching friends, in the next video we will run the Appium server on a real device. I have voices in my head, they count for me, they understand, they talk to me.